Welcome to this week's Shannon's Lifestyle. Today, our guest is Coco Vinny, and he has been a serial entrepreneur since he was 17. Thank you so much for being here, Coco Vinny.、Uh, thank you so much for having me. So, tell us a little bit more about yourself. I mean, Coco Vinny, and it sounds like a really unique name. So, is there <laughs> any reason why you call yourself Coco Vinny, or is that like yeah, you actually, were born with it? I, no, I was born as Vincent Paul Zaldivar, which is my name, and、uh, I reinvented myself this last company. And from the ground up. And so Coco Vinny is my、uh, character, is my stage name, but it's who I've become as a person. He, you know, Coco Vinny cares about the environment, he cares about people, and he loves to have fun. So that's who I am. Is this your first job、um, or is this your first no, business? No, no. I, I started my first company at 17.、Um, I've been in a lot of different ventures from. Many different sectors, so I've learned a lot and I've taken all of that knowledge from all the businesses that have made it or failed, and I've pretty much taken them and created Coco Taps, our company now. Coco Taps,、yeah. and that's what your company is called、yes. right now. Coco Taps, what is the Coco Taps? So basically,、uh, we invented a device that goes right into the fresh coconut. So we tap the coconut fresh and we partner with Mother Nature. To make the first zero waste certified company in Las Vegas.、Mm, I so, see. Yeah, well, so, so I know that you have been a,、um, an investor、mm-hmm. and also、um, you have been supporting the Las Vegas community and Los Angeles. And then right now you actually call Las Vegas home. So、yes. tell, me, tell us about your journey. Okay, well,、um, I actually grew up here in Las Vegas. My whole family moved here when I was 10. So I've been here over 30 years. And、um, a lot of different experiences that That form and shape you to who you are. And when I was young, believe it or not, my father went to jail when I was 15. And it was a really tough situation for the family because we almost lost, we lost everything. We almost ended up homeless. And so at an early age, I became the head of the household and I worked two full time jobs and I went to school and I started my first business at 17 out of necessity because I couldn't make it. On my own with just jobs.、Mm-hmm. So I just created my own business and I built that business. And I, I have a great story.、Uh, we've turned that, that, that setback into a really good、um, success story. So I bought my first house when I was 18、wow. with my family, and then I've built and, and funded and done a lot of business since then. So, what was your first business? You so, I was、me. the youngest licensed therapist in town. I did massage therapy, and I had about 18 therapists that worked for me. And we specialized in high stress individuals,、um, you know, athletes, and different people. So I, I built、nice. a really nice business in town. And, and then just from there, all sorts of other opportunities came. Okay. And then、um, is that how, because from the therapy, and you're just very into the health and beauty? I love, yeah. I, I'm very into health and wellness and staying healthy.、Um, and I kind of got off track. So that was my first business in the health. And then I got. Into all sorts of other ventures. So, I mean, I had a, a cattle ranch, I had a thousand head of cattle. Wow, that is a pretty、oh, big, big, big difference. shift. I mean, I'm very,、yeah. very adventurous, and so I'll try anything and I, I'll try it small and build it big. And then, you know, so、um, from cattle, and I've, I've been into brokering artwork. I sold millions of dollars of artwork to all the casinos on Las Vegas.、Uh, we've done some different deals that have just been in so many different sectors and investing and stocks and different things that I've learned. and Um, it just all kind of, you don't, you don't really have a, a plan. You don't know what's coming. So it's like what strikes you, and that's what, where you Yeah, I, I just listen to the market. I listen to my heart, and I see what happens. The people that I meet. Do you find yourself more enjoying about the process of building a business, or is it more like you enjoy the, you know, the. I like, love, I love really、ideas. creating, and I, I really love finding an opportunity, like a demand. And then filling that demand. So, really helping、uh, a pent up. Like, I, I can see things that people need that they don't know they need sometimes.、So、and how does a Coco Taps come in fruitation? Yeah, so. How did you come up with that idea? It was actually because of my own needs. You know, if you've tasted coconut water out of a package, it does not taste the same. It's not good. It's, it's stale, it's not fresh, it's not good. It's processed too. It's processed. And so, I never liked coconut water. And I thought I hated all coconuts. And so, when I was in a meeting, I was actually pitching a project to another investor, and his assistant brought these young Thai coconuts to the table. 
and you know they hacked them open and I tried it and I was just blown away. It's very refreshing. So it, it changed me and I said you know after my workouts every day I drink a fresh coconut and it's just really really helped to like inspire me and, and I invented the tap and you know. So what is a tap? Tell us about the tap. So basically it's what you see coming out of this coconut here okay. and we, we have a facility here where we brand them. We can put your logo right on the coconut. Really? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We customize them for Bellagio and Wynn and Cosmo and all the resorts in Las Vegas and then um, we tap it fresh. So nothing is, is taken out, nothing's processed, it's just makes it easy to drink from the coconut and that's what my system is and then soon in about 30 days this plastic is going to go away entirely and we've so it dissolves like naturally we've invented a we take the the corn of a cob and we are able to make these out of corn so soon it'll be oh. ocean safe ocean biodegradable um, full zero waste is our is our mission and so it took me about three years to figure this out but now it's finally coming to fruition so Super excited about that. How did you build from, you know, just an idea and bring it to the company? Oh my That's, gosh. you it's, know, it's a lot it of work. It is right now. And I, I know you have been featured in the Shark Tank, right? I was on Shark Tank. And, um, and you're going to be in The Profit later. Yes, too. yes. The CNBC show, The Profit with Marcus Lemonis, we're going to be on in November. This new season starts. Um, it really just takes um, faith and vision. You have to know without listening to anyone else. And you, and you can't have a plan. You can't, you can't over plan it. Um, you know, the, the only time a plan works is in the planning session at the table. But then when you leave to go do something, everything goes wrong and different and that you ever planned it. So I, I don't spend time planning. It's funny, but I don't plan much. I just go yeah. and I learn on the job. I learn on the road. And when you're making a trail, you don't have a road. You have to make it. And so that's the difference Plot between, through. you've got to go through mountains, you've got to go through, there's, there's water with no bridges, you've got to figure things out. And so that's the real key is to just go and learn and, grow, and fail, not be afraid to fail and just keep going. I, I worked hard for two years developing this with no money, no knowledge of a market. I didn't even know who was going to buy it yet but you just have to have that blind faith almost to go and keep going. So have you ever had like second thought? Doubt? Sec yeah, like yeah. doubt and second thought, oh. you know, about your business. Every day. I mean, you, you, you get kicked, you know, you'll And how do, you'll you, go, how do you get over that? So there's my three rules are All right. you have to have um, thick skin. You can't let anybody offend you. You got to have short-term memory, which means that you can tomorrow when I Forgive, go to sleep. Forgiveness. Forget. Right? Just wipe it clean every day a new day and you have to have positive attitude so those are my three rules like thick skin short-term memory and a positive attitude if you have those three then you can make it in anything but it takes a lot of practice because it's hard it's it's not easy what about on the business development side oh uh, yeah like getting business getting new accounts mm -hmm. all that well same thing if you apply those three rules because you're gonna go knock on a door they're gonna answer and you're gonna slam it in your face. And you have to learn how to get over that. And when the door closes, you gotta go through the window, you gotta go through the chimney, you gotta get in somehow without taking it personal. So that's all part of it. And, and learning and meeting people and being happy and you know, bring, bringing joy and, and positivity to any situation is what you're gonna um, do. Also, what about the investment part? Like, I, because you mentioned that you start everything from scratch and there's no money involved. Mm -hmm. And how did that come, you know, after? Like, how um, does that develop? Um, really, it's just your network of who you know um, and how you take care of those relationships. I've been able to leverage some of my relationships to borrow enough or get investors or do you know I've I haven't raised much money for this one I've been self-funding it but it's really tough I mean right now we're just gonna raise some money we got a big contract in Florida so we're gonna have to set up our facility in Miami and a lot of big accounts so we just we're gonna have to grow and that's where you need the investors and the bankers to to really scale and grow um would you say that your childhood experience you know about teaching you how to be independent really helped with this whole yeah. scenario. Yeah, you have to have the personality to really learn how to turn lemons into lemonade, is what they say. So mm -hmm. it's all about uh, being grateful for your experience, no matter what the experience is. Uh, 
people can play victim and say, oh, poor me, why didn't I get that or how? But really at the end of the day, it's about taking what you're given, being grateful for it and turning it into something better. And what would you say at this point, like what would you say that you will work on at this point of your business? Is it marketing? Is it business development? Is it investment? It's, like, is um, there a, a certain focus you're actually focusing on at this moment? Yeah, I mean, right now we're, we're fundraising for the next two months. So once we have the, the investors and, and we raise the funds, then we go, we're always marketing and our team is always out business development and, and I'm doing a lot of innovation so I've invented a lot of different things. So we're any in, plans for like like on, like innovation wise? Oh yeah, there's some huge. Well, just Tell the the it. tap alone. Um, we also have um, some technology that we're making for automating our process, our, our factory. Mm. Well, I've invented some automated uh, systems that are that actually save us a lot of labor and speed up the process. And these are all things that are patentable and that we're going to be protecting and. There's so many things. And then we have um, new products that we're going to come out with as we grow the company. We have a big product roadmap. So I have um, big... You have it all mapped out. Oh, yeah. I have a big plan. I got things that, that the market needs. You can't bring it all at once. We're just focused on one SKU right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we sell this. And one then, step at a time, and, right? And then we have our paper straws. So we sell a couple of things. And then we build and build. Just a time. And where can we find your product? So we're in over, we're in over a hundred locations in Las Vegas already. Wow! So we're in um, all the resorts in the Las Vegas Strip. Um, so we have the Wynn, Cosmopolitan, Bellagio, all MGM resorts, um, the Link, Flamingo. There's a lot of properties up and down the Strip. Lots of restaurants. There's about sixty restaurants um, through Fifth Avenue Restaurant Group that are in a lot of food courts. Pizza places are selling our coconuts. A lot of different crazy places that you wouldn't think of, you would see a coconut. And um, also Terribles um, has a giant gas station. It's the largest gas station in the world right now. Wow. They have like 96 gas pumps in Jean, and they sell lots of coconuts. They sell about 30 cases a week over there. Wow. And so they're, they're I can totally see this become a problem almost. Yeah. Everybody goes it's, it's by. Travel, and can, vacation, yeah. or they're on it's a trip. Fun. It's fun, yeah. It brings them to the exotic land. Exactly. So it's kind of funny to have coconuts in the desert too, you know, like it's so dry and but it, it does when you hold it, it feels like a, a vacation almost. It does. You know, it, it, does. it just kinda of brings it's, you to a it's place. cool too. It's cool and, and it's part of a tree, so it's almost like hugging a tree. So what about the health benefit? Yeah, so we call this God's Gatorade because it has all the electrolytes, has magnesium, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, iron, sodium, everything that your body needs to produce energy, it's in here. Nature mm -hmm. and natural, nothing added, just just straight on. Um, what about the preserve, like like preserve preservatives or? There's no preservatives in it. Just natural. Just fresh all from the straight. tree. This came from the tree. We just shave it, brand it, tap it. And, and then how long can you keep this in the fridge? This will last for up to three, four weeks in the refrigerator. Wow. Yeah. Can we find this in a supermarket? Should just buy it? Like so you can find mm -hmm. coconuts in a lot of the, the Asian markets, but they don't have the tap in them. Oh, and you do the, the, the tap by itself, right? You so we have a tool kit that we sell online. Okay. And um, But really people are lazy. They don't really want to do it themselves. So we, we just produce lots of coconuts. And Let's try it. Try it. Yeah, yeah. please. Oh, I like, look how, look how this, this is being crafted yeah. almost oh, really yeah. nicely. Oh yeah, this is all Do you use your, like, your own tool when you do this drill, the hole in there? Oh yeah, we have our own um, drill bit that we manufactured. Now I really feel like I'm on vacation, yeah. you're right. Cheers. It tastes so <laughs> good. Yeah, I can taste the fragrance from the coconut and mm -hmm. also the coconut meat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then I, I teach people how to open them after it's really easy, and then we make we make um, little planter pots out of them, and can do a lot of things with the coconut. Wow, this is really fresh. I mean, I'm, it's unbelievable. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's very different from the coconut water that we actually buy at the supermarket. It's totally different. I can't different. stand it. Yeah, I yeah. never liked it. it just yeah. wasn't natural to me. Plus, a lot of the plastics now, the bottles, and they're absorbing all of this plastic and. We're ingesting a lot of plastics in our food and in our water stream now. That is true. That's really harmful to our, our endocrine systems and our hormones and our cancers are getting on the rise. So 
I'm doing my best to eliminate drinking out of any plastic. I drink out of a glass bottle and I refill it with water or I drink right out of the coconut and I don't really drink anything else out of that plastic. You can actually reuse this bottle if I think about it. <laughs> you could. I fill it Afterwards, up Afterwards, yeah. You, yeah, you but can actually put it in water. After a week or so, the meat starts to get a little, you know. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. So, Coco, Vinny, mm -hmm. um, you know, this is like a kind of a personal question, uh -huh. but would you intend to actually keep that name? Like, let's just say that in the future, you know, become big and everything. Uh, yeah. And then you would... Think about sticking with that name, like for the rest of your life. Yes, I, yeah? I'm. I'm gonna always be Coco Vinny for the rest of my life. I mean, I see if I live to ninety, I'll be you know for the next fifty years, I'll be Coco Vinny because Coco Vinny represents who I am and who I want to embody as a person. You know, somebody that really cares about people and cares about the planet and wants to do good things and and help a lot of people. So I think Coco Vinny is. It's sort of like Colonel Sanders when you think of fried chicken, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm the Colonel Sanders of coconuts. And you are an eco investor too. Yeah, I, I only focus on projects that, that are basically carbon positive and zero waste and circular economics. So the reason why I'm gonna be Coco Vinny for so long is because when this starts to get really, really big, I'm actually gonna have my own farms. So my plans are to, to do regenerative agriculture local in Hawaii, Puerto Rico, places closer to the Uni in the United States so we could localize coconuts in production. That's so cool, and I yeah. wish you great success Thank in you. this. Yeah, this is so cool. Thank you I so much. I appreciate you inviting me on the show. Can you tell our audience um, where they can find you and yeah. how they can order um, your Coco Tap kits? You can uh, you can go to CocoTaps.com or CocoTaps for you on Instagram. Um, I have my own uh, personal Coco Vinny, and um, we have the tool kits up there. And uh, I could sing you a song if you like. Yes, please, yeah? please okay. do. And I know that besides being an entrepreneur, <laughs> you're also very music talented. I love music, and, I, and yeah. it's just part of my heart. So I wrote this jingle, and it's called the Coco yeah, Let's jingle. finish this episode with let's do a it. piece of beautiful music. With a song. Yes. Life can be a tough nut to crack. Coco Taps will get you right on track. Great taste, less waste too. You gotta tap your thirst, cause Coco dreams come true. Oh, don't forget to write to me about your thoughts for the show, or if there's a place you'd like to see in the town, or if you think your business is a real highlight of Vegas life and want it to be featured. We always do a lucky drawing among the viewers at the end of each episode and send out different surprises each week. No strings attached. So maybe you're the next lucky winner. Thanks for watching Shannon's Lifestyle. Don't go away. We'll be right back.